Okay, now we are going to set up the product and services or the hosting packages for Club Coder. So next, we are going to set up here and product slash services. And I'm going to start with servers. First, we want to add our server here. Click add new server. So the name, I'm going to name it a reseller, club coder, reseller account. Host name is the host name of the reseller server. You can get that from the WHM. The IP address here, I already have it as well, which is this one. You can do that by doing a ping of this whole host name which I got from the WHM here as you can see so I'm going to go to my terminal or if you're using Windows you can use um, command prompt so here if I clear this for you and I do ping there we go dot 19 actually so I'm gonna use that one this one right Assign IP addresses if we have more than one, but as we are on a reseller account, we just have one at the moment. So we're going to leave this blank. Monthly cost is not relevant. I'm going to skip this part. Is This is not required as well. I'm going to skip that part. Maximum number of accounts, 200 is good. And... Um, Server status address, we won't be using this as well. So I'm just going to leave that blank as well. The name server we are going to use is just DNS1, clubcoder.com. And the IP is this one, the IP of the DNS server. And DNS2.clubcoder.com, the IP is .4. You get this from your reseller account welcome email. So the type of the server is cPanel. The username is hgclub for my reseller account. And I'm going to use access hash instead of password. So I'm going to go to my web host manager here and search on the top left for remote, remote. Now set up remote access key. Access key for user HG Club. I'm going to copy this whole access key. Copy that. And put this here. And we want to make that secure. So I'm going to check this box and save changes. That's it. So we have added our first server. Now we want to create a server group. Name it probably Club Coder Reseller. And field type, add to the least full server. Since we only have one, it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to add this. But if you have like 10 servers, so somebody signs up, it's going to automatically pick the least full server and assign that new account to that least full server. That is how it works. So I'm going to save my changes here. Now we get the server group and the server created. Okay, that's this part. Next, we are going to go to product services and domain registrars. So for our domain registrars, we have created an enum reseller account from WHMCS so we are going to actually activate this click the activate button now put the username and the password of your enom reseller account the one that I set up for this is my son's name Daryl Tanzil and the password for it is this one 
So I'm not going to put it in test mode and I'm going to leave the name servers. Um, default name servers. We don't want it. We want to use our name servers, which is dns1.clubcoder.com and dns2.clubcoder.com. So that's good to go. I am going to save changes. Now, before we continue setting up the other part, we have to add our server's IP address into the access list of the API in Enum. So our server is whitelisted to request API uh, request into Enum server. We have to do that. Don't forget to do that. So once we have set this up, we are going to go and log in to Enum. I'm going to open a new tab here. I'm going to log into Enum and use uh, my reseller account, which is for this one. So once logged in, I'm going to add API access. I think it's under resellers. Resellers, let me see, manage API. Okay, here, let me see. Okay, so actually we have to submit a support ticket to Enom and request our IP address to be added into their access list so it can actually access their API server. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to the help center here. So you will have to do the same thing. Go to your help center in Enom, log in to support center, and I'm going to request by submitting a new ticket and add IP. Hi, could you please add the following IP address for our server to access your API? So get the IP address from your web host manager. This is the IP for clubcoder.com. So I'm using this part and uh, submit that. Sometimes the base server itself, it's using a different IP address. So I'm going to copy the second IP, which is the base IP, into the request list, just in case Enom is detecting this IP instead of the IP for the main domain itself. So I'm going to ask this and select a category, um, probably API or add delete IP. That's pretty straightforward. And hit the continue button. So your ticket has been submitted. So that's good to go. And I'm going to close this. And close this as well. And go back here. So Enom has been set up. And we have requested the API access to Enom support ticket. That's pretty much done. So what is next? We can see here product services, um, domain registrar. Now we can go to domain pricing. 